Hey guys, just wanted to take this opportunity to put together a quick review of some of our initial thoughts of the Neato D5 vacuum. A few months ago, I was looking for a Christmas present for my wife, and she had mentioned that she was getting pretty tired of having to sweep up the kitchen, vacuum the floor, clean up after our two little boys. And so I thought that a robotic vacuum would be a great gift. And that was my first experience looking at the world of robotic vacuums. I quickly realized that there were quite a few options to choose from. Uh, there's Neato, there's Roomba, who's kind of the main brand. There's also Samsung, who makes a robotic vacuum, as well as a few other vendors. Uh, in the end, we ended up deciding going with the Neato D5. And I can tell you that we haven't regretted that decision once. Uh, this vacuum is very advanced in its technology. Uh, it uses a combination of radar as well as a front bumper to map out a room and then clean every square inch of that room. And when it's all done, it will send you a notification and if you link it with your phone, it will even show you a little map of your house and the rooms and areas that it's cleaned. And so it does a really good job. You can see here in this video that it begins by kind of mapping out the perimeter that it's going to clean and then it works its way going back and forth in that box until it's cleaned every uh, piece of carpet or hardwood that it can. And by using this method, it's not random. It's not just driving in circles and it hopes it's get everything. It, it does a great job of cleaning up everything. Um, we've used this on carpet as well as hardwood floor and the brush design is fantastic. It does a great job regardless. It's very easy to empty the canister and to be honest we have to do that after every cleaning because it is full. It does a great job of picking up whatever debris we have on the floor. Um, one limitation and I'm sure this is with all uh, robotic vacuums we have to clean up our kids' toys. Uh, if we leave any of the little Thomas the Tank Engine toys or things out, it will try and suck those up, and it can't, obviously, and then it will send a notification to our phone saying uh, that it's in trouble. So you kinda have to do a little bit of work on your part to make sure that the floor is clean of clothes, toys, that kind of a thing that would get the vacuum all gummed up. But other than that, uh, it is really a phenomenal vacuum. We're gonna do a couple more videos, uh, sharing a few more of our thoughts on this vacuum. Um, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to kind of give you a video, let you see uh, how the vacuum works in a large empty space, and uh, give you a quick review. Feel free to ask any questions or watch for some of our other videos. Uh, and we'll tell you a little bit more of what we think. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.